beautiful Taurus, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your career reading for December 2021. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about, pretending to be me and lots of other Tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details and I will never ask you for your personal details either. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Now recently I felt the energy of the collective has been quite low, so I've migrated to TikTok to upload short, sharp videos of nature, moments to breathe, come back to your center, but also there's pick a card, card of the day. Uh, so if you are on TikTok, there's a link in the comments box below. If you're not, of course, give it a wide berth. I'm not asking you to migrate over there. I'm still going to be very much on YouTube. Let's get straight to your reading, my beautiful Taurians. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly. Please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Taurus, so we have stepped into Sagittarius season, which embraces growth and abundance. It is ruled by Jupiter, the planet of good luck and expansion, so that means you'll be given a little helping hand when it comes to your career in December. Now, what's really exciting, a Sagittarius season picks up the pace a little bit. It's about action, it's about exploration and optimism, but also we have a new moon accompanied by a solar eclipse, which amplifies your motivation. Also, Gemini, uh, you know, it's a full moon in Gemini energy, uh, so that is increases spontaneity. Uh, also, it's about closing out chapters, okay? So let's see what uh, is going on for you. It can be a time, because we got Gemini energy uh, with Sagittarius energy, a time for curveballs, okay? So expect the unexpected. You may feel also that you want to travel for work or inject some sort of travel uh, and, you know, take a pause from work for a while or try and work as you take a va vacation, for example. So, but the main energy is your uh, sort of motivation, your drive, is um, sort of amplified there, but also, you know, as Gemini is ruled by Mercury, of course, that full moon may see you uh, communicating a better deal for yourself or closing out a chapter on a high. So let's see, we've got options here and those doors are opening, we've got control. Uh, now this is a wonderful uh, sort of financial money deck there by Maruka X. I'm just using that, first of all, to see what is coming on in in terms of uh, career for you. We've got many opportunities are becoming available to you now or if you are flooded by too many ideas. Do not get stuck in doubt when an offer presents itself. Seize the moment. Now that's what Sagittarius season really is about, seizing that moment. Also, I would be a little bit mindful because um, when we've got Sagittarius season mixed with that Gemini energy with that full moon, so especially towards the end of the year, sometimes what we say can become a little bit unfiltered, a little bit cutting. I mean, normally very, very funny and very witty, but not everybody may get it, right? So uh, just be a little bit mindful. Don't ever hold yourself back, my beautiful Taurians, but just be mindful if you're negotiating deals, for example, you know, just be... Um, sometimes there's diplomacy, okay? That's what they're just giving me here. Uh, it also says here, create multiple streams of income. I actually feel from this card that uh, you're going to have uh, a lot of doors start to open for you. And there's one door in particular that is absolutely golden, okay? It feels like uh, you've hit jackpot. And I know that there's like a yellow door there, but we're gonna uh, actually see uh, a little bit deeper as we go on to see what that opportunity is for you. It's a door that you felt may, uh, may have felt like has remained stuck or unlocked, sorry, unlocked, but you couldn't open it for some reason. Uh, you may have felt like either you had to do a test to get in there or you've had to, perhaps you're at college or something like that and you're um, working your way up the ladder in something and you, the door is open. I feel like the door is just waiting for you to open it, but you may have felt like it's been a journey or it's been tough to get there, okay? So I feel like there is ample opportunity when you get there, but you've had to have a bit of a struggle to get where you wanna go. Okay, that's what I feel. But I feel that door will be opening for you in December and a little bit more beyond. I feel like it's kind of like the end of December into the January period. Now we've also got control here. Okay, now as you can see, uh, that hand there is being washed. Uh, so um, I feel like you're purifying the way you look at money, uh, having a healthier kind of outlook 
when it comes to your finances. It says try to be a little bit more flexible and flow uh, and allow the universe to work its magic. So don't lose out on opportunities because it didn't come in the form you wanted it to. Some blessings come in disguise. Stay open-minded and see the potential. So I feel like there is this hidden opportunity coming towards you. It is one like jackpot opportunity uh, that's going to be very, very exciting for you. Um, but let's see um, what is headed towards you in the faded energy. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Now I'm just using the Lenormand deck here. Um, and that's by uh, Lamucci Design. Beautiful deck here. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Let's see. Yeah, I see you being very, very clever and very savvy when it comes to career. And I feel like these options, you're going to take action on them and there's going to be a lot of growth there. I mean, you've got the, the tree there, which is about expansion. Uh, it's about growth, but also it's about looking back at things that you did in the past and seeing how you can do things differently. Um, you know, maybe tweaking the plan a little bit when it comes to your career, but I definitely see financial growth here for you. Also, I feel like you're going to leave a legacy. Okay. I feel like you're someone in your family who is going to be uh, recognized for um, bringing a lot of prosperity to your family lineage. Okay. That's what I'm feeling here. Um, but it is number five. So that indicates your dedication uh, because number five is the Hierophant energy, which is about your dedication, your knowledge will lead to growth. So whatever it is you're working on, I feel like uh, you have that unique set of skills that will bring this uh, prosperity towards you. But more than that, I feel it is about your commitment. Uh, you're deepening your commitment to your goals and dreams. And I feel like you're starting to see uh, things prosper. Now, if you have felt for a long time, um, nothing has uh, been growing there because I do feel like something's been holding back in this situation. I'm just going to pull a quick card on that before we move forward. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. I mean, you've got in the resistance position, you've got action on something. You may feel like there's like a glass ceiling or someone in control that uh, we've got the Seven of Swords here and we've got the Ten of Cups. Okay, so this could be um, the Seven of Swords is uh, you know an energy of uh, making amends with maybe how you feel about money or uh, you may have grown up with somebody who for example um, said you know running after money is bad or a career is bad um, now and this is very specific this is not going to resonate for everyone now the way I got to look at this uh, the energy that's coming through is money of course um, in the wrong hands and a lot of it in the wrong hands can lead to power ultimate power and people taking control in a very negative way okay if you look at I'm not about to get political on everybody's um, uh, sort of uh, day right now but you know if you look at some people uh, you know money and power go to their head okay so I feel like someone has either told you uh, in some way that money is bad if you do what you love and you're recompensed for it in a very fair way and you're building your empire and you're using money in a healthy way of course uh, then I think it's a very positive thing we all need to pay bills we need to secure our future and I feel like that is what you're doing uh, the ten of cups here could also be someone was going through a separation or a divorce or something like that and it may be that you're trying to sort of reconcile your finances because we've got the ten of cups there uh, and that seven of swords now the seven of swords um, The Sin of Swords can be that, you know, you loan some money out to somebody and uh, you never got it back, okay? And it's almost like cut and run, okay? Um, they're indicating start, start from now. Forget that that, you know, ever coming back. Don't even factor in that into your finances, okay? So if you lent some money to somebody. Um, now, this is not meant to be a, a money reading per se, but um, I feel like that is something in someone's uh, energy field that I'm picking up right now. They're just saying, let it go. They may surprise you in the future, uh, but right now, that's not a factor. Just let it, because it may um, in some way uh, be affecting your energetic sphere or moving forward. I don't know if I'm clarifying that 100%, um, but it has disappeared. So uh, I'm scrying at the same time as doing your reading. Uh, so um, th they're indicating that I have mentioned what they want me to mention. Uh, also, this Seven of Swords, they're giving me another energy here of you deciding to you know, separate from something, or you may have felt like you separated from something that you love doing. And you know, I feel like you are um, getting back on track. So for example, you know, we're going through a major pandemic and you may have had a dream job that you really loved and you lost that job due to, you know, uh, you know, world circumstances and it's affected you quite a great deal. I feel like you're going to have another opportunity to do what you love. The Seven of Swords 
in the upright like that says you know you're still reeling from those effects and you feel like just running away from it all but the seven of swords uh, it was a delicate situation but the seven of swords in reverse says you know this is going to be reconciled in some way so it's almost like there will be peace uh, there will be a better time uh, you may be sort of coming back to or amending a situation and doing something that you love in order to uh, grow your uh, sort of wealth financially okay so I do feel like if you've separated from a job whether it was due to economic uh, circumstances or whether it is you walked away from something um, and I feel like you find your way back okay is what I'm feeling there now we've also got um, you know the man uh, now male or female this is not a gender specific reading it's about the energy but the man in uh, the Norman deck uh, represents action okay uh, can be that masculine energy of action as you can see this one is rolling up their sleeves there's work to be done and you're not afraid of work Taurus but you may have felt like your motivation or your drive has in some way uh, felt um, a little dampened recently so I feel as you move through December that is a challenge for you keeping that motivation going that determination uh, to succeed I feel like you're gonna be very very clever your patience, something you're waiting for for a while sees you um, you know really thrive and survive uh, with regards to uh, your career the number 14 I mean, number 28 there, uh, when you reduce it, uh, 2 plus 8 is 10. So I feel like you're closing down uh, a cycle and entering a new chapter of abundance. Um, and I feel um, you're rolling up your sleeve. I just get this energy that you're you're doing something, okay? Um, I mean, that could be a lot of people. Everybody's doing something at some point. I know that's such a tenuous kind of link there. But I feel like it's almost like... If you want a job done properly, you got to do it yourself. That's what I'm feeling from this energy. It's like, oh, God, you know what? Move, move out of the way. I, I've got this. So I feel like you're going to have a moment uh, where you show your true skills, your true dedication to your job or your um, career in some way, and it gets noticed by an authoritative figure. Let me just quickly pull a card. I mean, if you work for yourself, I feel like this is you uh, finding that motivation to... Um, can I put that if you've been lacking in energy it's almost like all of a sudden you've got to recharge and you're like I'm on it again I'm on the gravy train again you know I feel like you're really like going for it okay um, eight of swords now the eight of swords is something that you do not see okay it's also releasing oneself from fear so as you can see there uh, it's almost like we've got Un uncharted water you could be doing something that you know uncharted water there's something different but you feel like you have to take action on it you have to do something about it otherwise if you don't no one else is gonna and you see those two ships you know the waters are not still so I feel like you may feel a little bit anxiety there but you're, you're following your heart as you can see in that card the heart is opened up now you may have blind faith in something but I feel like that's if you work for yourself um, I feel like it's going to you're gonna be very savvy uh, but if you work for somebody, I feel like they're going to notice. We got the Knight of Wands. This is something that is long term, okay? The Knight of Wands is showing me in the reverse that you may have lacked passion for something you, that you normally had passion for, okay? You may have felt like things have been pretty chaotic recently. Um, we got the Devil card in the reverse. You're leaving a toxic situation or you're leaving a negative situation or, or an attachment. It could be procrastination. You're leaving procrastination behind because sometimes we get stuck in our own mind and we feel like we've got so much to do that we're like, we can't do anything. We become analysis paralysis, okay? You know, have you ever noticed that when you've got something important to do, all of a sudden you wanna do the dishes or you wanna hoover the floor or you're, you're washing down the bathroom and you're like, what, 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 I'm just running away from it, okay? So I feel like you're actually facing something that perhaps you've like put on the back burner for a while and thought, you know what, I gotta get to grips with this. Um, can you show me uh, the, the person of authority that is taking an interest? Because I feel this, how would you like to receive? The Nine of Swords in the reverse, the Queen of Cups. Yeah, there's someone here who actually wants to influence your destiny in some way in a very positive way because they love what you do. I feel like they love the fact that you're dedicated, but also you think outside the box is what they're giving me. The Nine of Swords is releasing yourself from fear. It's also about having faith and not being defensive, opening yourself up to being fluid with your career, but also opening yourself up to this new opportunity because I feel like this card is really highlighted to me where it's like, don't lose out on opportunities just because they didn't come in the form that you wanted to them to. I feel like it's going to come in a different way 
and you're going to see that actually it's way better because we've got that queen of cups there there's some sort of offer coming on in here but it's this person really has your back. They have a lot of time for you. I feel like this person has a lot of empathy for you as well. Um, and I feel like you're following your heart uh, leads to a lot of success. Uh, we've also got the fates, which is a will of fortune. So I feel like anything that you've been struggling with really turns around here and there's like, all of a sudden there's a lucky break or all of a sudden that door opens. It's definitely like, big energy that is faded. You may even feel like you're being gifted uh, a miracle in the month of December, but I feel like it's more that you, your hard work, your dedication, and your uh, commitments to your goals and dreams actually lead you um, on a, de a destined um, journey of discovery is what I'm kind of getting there as well. Uh, so expect doors to open, but expect things to go the way that you'd hoped, okay? The uh, Wheel of Fortune energy is you know, really positive, but it does remind us that, you know, we're all on the wheel of fate. Uh, sometimes we're up, sometimes we're down. That's just life. But right now you're on the up. Okay. So we've got the, um, Fox there and this is your unified energy. So this is an outcome. So I feel like you're being very uh, careful or clever about your situation. Uh, the Fox is, you know, a survivor. They thrive in difficult circumstances. Okay. So I feel like you're being very clever about your career and I feel like you're laying a foundation that actually, will be very very fruitful in the future um, also you may be doing something in a solitary energy that you've waited a long time for because that number 14 is uh, the temperance card so temperance energy is about keeping balance of course but it's also about re-examining your priorities and going do I really want to do this still uh, it's almost like you're letting money flow in and out uh, you're opening yourself up to that abundance um, but I feel like you've strategized. This is part of your plan and you've been very gifted um, in seeing um, your career a couple of moves ahead before you actually get to that point. So let us see a little bit deeper as to what's happening here in terms of your career. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Trillians? What do they need to know? How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. Uh, we've got two cups here. We've got Page of Swords and we've got the Ace of Swords. We've also got the full card energy. So that's that new chapter energy there. Uh, we've got 10 of wands and we've got the wheel of fortune again. So destiny is definitely intervening in your December. Uh, when you get, I mean, the wheel of fortune in two different decks, that's a really positive uh, aspect of your career and your finances. Also, we've got that 10 of wands there, which really has given me that energy, you know, that lack of motivation. You may have felt very heavy um, as you've moved through the last couple of months. And it's almost like that final slog, you know, that final month where you're like closing out 2021, like, you know what, let's get this year over with and embrace the new, okay? That 10 of wands energy, you know, you may have felt a little bit of anxiety over finances. You may have, uh, you know, felt overwhelmed sometimes, but I feel like you're looking at things from a different angle and you're investigating your options, which leads to a breakthrough that's really fortunate for you that actually brings something really positive. Now that two of cups energy can mean that you're thinking about either uh, pooling your finances or in some way, uh, you know, bossing up with someone. You could be moving into a business with another person, a uh, partnership there. Uh, but the two of cups tends to mean an exchange of your gifts, what you're really good at doing, to get money in return, okay? So this is about you recognizing um, that you have a lot to offer, you bring a lot to the table, okay? I know there's like two people there and they're very uh, similar in their energy, like twin energy. So you could be like, for example, partnering up in business with a soulmate or a friend or your partner, your husband, your, your wife, uh, your spouse, whatever. I feel like you could be doing that, but I feel more that this is about, because I feel like this is a singular energy as well. So there's something here that you do alone. So you could be, um, you know, recognizing how good you are at what you do and that you actually do the job of two people or, or several people and people are starting to notice what you bring to the table. And I feel like you will be fairly uh, recompensed for that. So there could be some sort of bonus coming on in because we've got that Wheel of Fortune twice. I know that the time period that we're living in, it's very difficult to imagine that companies are giving out bonuses these days, but you might be surprised. There might be a little bit extra in your pay packet uh, for a job well done or something like that. But I feel like this is about you recognizing that you deserve better or that you um, bring a lot to the table and should be 
fairly recompensed for it. Also, um, I feel like you'll have an encounter where you, there is a, a small benefit to you in some way in December. Um, now, we've got the Fool energy. Um, this may be something that you took a risk on or you took a gamble on uh, because the, the Fool card energy is, you know, a bit of a risk take. And I, I'm not ever saying you should ever take a chance when it comes to your finances or your career, but I feel that you're taking a leap of faith, something that you don't normally do. You may be feeling a little bit cautious as you step out of a comfort zone with your career. So if you decided you're gonna leave your job, for example, all of a sudden, that's not going to resonate with everybody, of course. Um, they keep giving me this song, sorry. They keep giving me this song and I'm not really sure how it resonates with your reading. So I'm trying to work it out at the same time, but it's not going away. So I have to give it to you. Uh, the song is um, Hot in the City. Hot in the City Tonight. I think it says all right or maybe it's tonight again uh, I have to mention it because it's literally until I, I I was ignoring it but it's making me sweat so much and I know it's called hot in the city but my whoo um, so I don't know maybe you're thinking about uh, going on a vacation to somewhere hot I'm gonna have to look up the lyrics because hot in the city I mean the city when you think about city you do think about financial districts and things like that perhaps there is a hot project that you get uh, a hot opportunity um, or uh, you're deciding to relocate and do some work in the city or maybe you're working in the city and you're like it's too hot I've got to get out of the city and you want to work from home so um, please take it as it resonates I'm not really sure how that song does but I mean it could be that it just played on the radio before you listen to this reading it's a signifier in some way um, that when things heat up when it comes to your career it could feel like pressure okay but I feel like the pressure is rewarding so uh, because you've got the Wheel of Fortune and an Ace of Swords at the end you know, you've been very clever having a major breakthrough and there's rewards here uh, but you may have felt like it was a lot of pressure or a lot of hard work to get there in the first place so i'm gonna have to look the meaning uh, or the lyrics of that song but this uh energy here is if you feel normally that you don't take risks and things and you're very steady there may be an opportunity for you to take a stepping stone or do something different come out of your comfort zone which is easier said than done but i feel like the opportunity will actually represent itself to you, okay? Because there's fate intervening here. Uh, the Page of Swords can be about you looking at your plans and thinking of a new way or a new idea to actually do something. Page of Swords energy, as you can see, this person is very knowledgeable. You're very knowledgeable in what you do. You have a lot of skills. You bring a lot to the table, as I said. You know, you may even be like uh, completing uh, a master's. I don't know why they're giving that to me, but they are. You'll be completing a master's or something you did like that over, um, uh, you know when we've all been locked down and things like that you may be completing it by now or there's some sort of because they keep giving me this like test or something um, so you may be completing something will actually help you align yourself with an expansion of opportunities but as you can see um, you know swords are about curiosity especially the page of swords is about being curious about um, doing things differently um, when it comes to uh, your career there may be fresh new ideas coming on in there new perspectives and you know releasing old situations or old patterns that have made you felt really stuck or bored in your role in order to thrive and find that amplified motivation that I was talking about earlier also as you can see in that card that figure although they're very scholarly they're still following their heart their hand is on their heart so that's about integrity as well so I feel like you're doing something uh, that is really good that allows you to uh, you know expand your business but I feel like you're a bit curious about another option so pages they tend to bring news so you could have some news coming on in that gives you this other option that you're like oh this is is quite exciting because I feel the Ten of Wands, it's been quite pressurized energy. I feel like you've had very, that stuck in the mud energy. And it takes a lot to blossom. It takes a lot to succeed. And it's taken a lot out of you. As you can see this figure, she's got loads of beautiful flowers on there. So they're really positive. There's a lot of growth there, but it's been hard work. She's literally bent over. So I feel like you've put in a lot and uh, you know, I feel like you're literally uh, at breaking point with something but I feel like it's a really great breakthrough. Here's the breakthrough, the Ace of Swords. Now this is your outcome energy, which means you know triumphant success. You hold the key to the success and you're having this major breakthrough. I feel like it's a very positive time for you where uh, all of a sudden you know what to do. The Ace of Swords energy when it comes to career is very much about um, 
gaining clarity on a situation, having a successful understanding of what you must act upon. And I feel like something they've been going round and round in circles about, you may be wondering, are you good enough? Or how can I capitalize on how my opportunities are going so far? I feel like you make a real sort of um, major breakthrough here to overcome a mountain. I feel like if you've had that real mountain to climb, I feel like you're at the top of it, seeing very, very clearly and overcoming any obstacles. And we've got uh, I do feel like there's a communication coming on in here. Now this could come from, uh, I feel like it's from a third party, uh, it's an external source. A piece of information comes and tells you either that you've got like a, a breakthrough on a project or they want to work with you in some way, they want to collaborate with you. Um, I feel like this is a fresh new start for you. The Wheel of Fortune says it's faded. Okay, uh, as you can see that Wheel of Fortune, she's uncovering um, the sort of the logistics or all those um, mechanisms of how things work, but they all start with the heart. Okay, so I feel like this fate, this destiny, this lucky break that comes on in here to amplify and expand your uh, growth when it comes to your career and your finances. It's about time. They're showing me divine timing. This is your moment for that breakthrough. Uh, now you're looking forward to the future uh, with bright eyes is what they're giving me. Um, now I'm just going to quickly pull a card on that. I feel like, for example, if you're in a career where you could be headhunted, I feel like someone is watching what you do and seeing how you cope under pressure and is really impressed with what you do and is about to offer you some sort of collaboration, something that will elevate you. Um, because as you can see, your knowledge is elevating you that those books are elevating that figure right there. So I feel like this is a major breakthrough and helps you expand and it's, it, it's right on time, right on target. Now they're showing me someone who's got an eyelash in their eyes. So if that's you, there's something in this message for you. I mean, you got the 10 of wands again. So this has been um, quite a heavy energy. Uh, yeah, so if you've got an eyelash in your eye, I mean, we've all got eyelashes on our eyes, but this one is in the eye. It's coming, the energy is coming from the left eye. So if that is you, there's something in this whole reading for you, okay? Uh, again, if it does not resonate for you, it does not mean it's not your reading. It just means they want that person to pay close attention as their attention may have wavered, okay? Now we got the 10 of wands. So as I said, that was about pressure, but also at breaking point, something's about to change. You may be reflecting back at things that are dead and gone, whether that's your motivation or your passion, for what you do. Uh, when you get to the Ten of Wands energy, it means you're at breaking point and the only way is up, okay? You've come on a very long, hard journey. You're taking a cold, hard look at yourself and that's what this Sagittarian and um, the Sagittarian season does, especially around that Gemini full moon. It is about taking a cold, hard look and being honest with yourself and having a wake up call and seeing like where things are dead and gone. If you haven't got passion for something anymore and you cannot revive it, um, I feel like something other comes on in to grab your attention and helps you bring back that feeling. Okay, we've got a Knight of Cups here, which definitely indicates there's an offer coming on in here to do something that you love. But when you get a Knight of Cups, especially when it comes to career, it's about don't focus on the money. The love for what you do is more important, okay? It's good to educate yourself in money matters and how you can amplify your, your finances, of course, but it's not all about the money. Maybe that's why I got that energy right at the beginning about somebody in your past saying that money is bad or something like that. Uh, you know, their experience is not going to be your experience is what they're giving me. The Knight of Cups, if you really take a look at that card, I hope I've got it in the right place for you to see it. That's about reviving your spirit. Okay, she is reviving her spirit for what she does. So if you have had that energy of like your mojo has been lost recently and you felt really uncertain because of the time period we're living in, uh, you're about to have your spirits revived. Everything is slotting into place. You got a beautiful card there. Okay, that is the temperance card again. So temperance energy is about balance, harmony, motivation, um, re-examining priorities. But as you can see, if it's felt like a real conundrum or a, pro a real puzzle recently, I feel like all the, play all the puzzle pieces are coming into place and you're starting to see the bigger picture. Also in this, as you can see, uh, you're, this person is literally building like another person there. It seems like either someone else is going to give you an opportunity or you're going to be uh, collaborating in some way or someone is really impressed with what you do and wants to elevate you. I feel like there is an external source 
that is integral. And as you can see, this little bird, I mean, it's a skeleton of a little bird. It's holding a heart. So again, the energy is, you know, following your heart, everything's slotting into place. You may have had, not have had all the pieces as you've moved through the last couple of months, but I feel like all those pieces are coming together to make something really wholesome and really great when it comes to your career. Okay. Now I'm just going to give you a final card. Thank you so much for it, guys. Going angels. Uh, interesting because um, what they're just showing me right now is that you haven't got any coins show up here because it's about new ideas, opportunity, collaboration, and breakthrough. Uh, that the finances come afterwards. They just said, okay, we've got spirit. They want me to go one more. Uh, they got spiritual body, astral travel, remote viewing. So you could be working from home or remotely in some way. I mean, we don't know what's going to happen. Well, some places around the world are going to have uh, a little bit more restrictions where there's, they're going to be locked down again and working from home. You know, you don't need me to be uh, seeing, um, scrying to tell you that. Uh, you can feel it already yourselves, I'm sure. We all have intuition. We all have feelings on how things are sort of moving towards. So, um, but I feel like they're showing me here that the energy that you've put into your career or your uh, your goals uh, will be reflected back to you in December, okay? Um, and we've got Shell, hidden, aloof, deserted. Certain matters in the situation is not being communicated. Uh, it's number 27. When you reduce that, 2 plus uh, 7 is 9, which is the hermit energy. So this could be that you're working from home or it could be that you're working on your own on something. Um, and listen to your heart. The Shell, you know, we've got a, another Shell here. So I feel like, you know, something that's gone round and round in circles, you've got to really listen to your heart um, and you'll find that real breakthrough uh, energy on that. Um, aloof, hidden. Yeah, I feel like there is an opportunity like that's, that hasn't even arrived yet for you. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune often is surprise energy, something that is hidden or that you cannot see. It's an opportunity that pops out of nowhere. Um, Something though that you've worked hard for. So it is committed, it is connected to your goals, your dreams. It gives you a fresh new approach, but you're not aware of it yet. So I would keep the faith, okay? Now, finally, before we close, I'm gonna give you a trinket. Thank you so much. You may have noticed, uh, I think I've said this already, I've gone to visit folks for a little while. Um, so, and I forgot my bowl. So I'm just using this little bag for now. But the trinket that you got here is an angel. And it says made for an angel. You may have even got that trinket in your uh, monthly reading, but it's got made for an angel. So I feel like you're protected at this time. Your guides are with you. Uh, so if you are going through any difficulties when it comes to, um, you know, your career or finances or paying bills and things, I feel like you're going to be very resourceful, very clever about it, but you can reach out to your guides and they will help you made for an angel. I feel like whatever it is that you do is something that uh, you actually can help others with, give them peace as well. I feel like your words are important. Uh, you give people the courage as well to go after what they truly uh, desire. I feel like you're really good at giving people a pep talk, you know, really good at helping their spirit, raise their spirits. And I feel like you've got some really good karma coming back uh, for that in December as well. Now, they're giving me a number, which is number 18. Now, number 18 tends to be the moon card, which is about uncertainty. But in uncertainty and in uncertain times, it's about things working behind the scenes, things we're not even aware of yet, things popping out of nowhere um, where we have to make voluntary changes or take action in order to um, get the best out of the situation. Um, where would you like this? They want it on the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, that's a really positive sign that they want that. So I feel like there's a destined opportunity coming out here that really helps you um, capitalize and have some good luck. Um, but I feel like the moon, number 18 coming, it could be the day. Maybe your, your 18 is an important number to you in some way. Maybe where you live or your birth date or something like that. Um, but it could be also caution. Use your intuition uh, when you're navigating things. Don't take unnecessary risks. Okay, because it could lead to like heavy energy and having to take action and, and sort it out. You don't want to have a headache. Okay, so um, I feel like it's very positive though. Things are slotting into place and I'm quite excited for you. Okay, so I'm leaving it there. Hope something resonates in this reading for you, my beautiful Taurians. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press the little bell that lets you know how... Uh, that lets you know when I update my next message, lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very, very important for me. Now, just as I was talking, this is why I stumbled, uh, they just gave me a name, which was Howie. 
Howie. So if that resonates with you, there's something in this message for you. Um, if it doesn't, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. Also, finally, they're highlighting this card, which is so unusual once we've done the reading. They're highlighting this card here of a position of power. You may be investigating um, running your own business or partnering up with somebody, but I feel like you're investigating either a, a position of responsibility or looking for a new job or a new area where you have more control or more, um, I don't know, something to really excite you or um, so that you're not bored in what you do. So they're just highlighting that it's it's a wonderful action to take, okay? It'll be very, very positive. Uh, it'll bring a real breakthrough for you and you'll be communicating a better deal for yourself in some way. So uh, I feel like an opportunity may just arrive in your mailbox or um, you may see like a, an advertisement when you're not looking, all of a sudden I feel like it just pops out of nowhere. Okay, so I'll leave it like that. Thank you so much, my beautiful Taurians. Love and light.